It is the 31st of August. It is five o'clock. Uh, I've been in bed literally all day. I didn't get a very good sleep last night, so I decided to just stay in bed. Uh, it seemed to work. I feel good now. Um, the costume party is tonight at the stables. I'm literally so excited. It's gonna be cool. I will see you later when I'm all costumed up. Ha ha ha. phone seems to think it's dark in here when it's not really that dark. Anyways, welcome to the Halloween stables thing. I don't have any of my costume on yet. It is extremely hard to have the hat and the mask on. I'm gonna be real with you. Hmm. Anyways, we'll see how the night goes. sleep, um, tossing and turning. Uh, I didn't even drink that much, which is interesting. Uh, normally that has an effect on my sleep, but there you go. Um, it is what it is. I can just relax today and get ready for my last night shift. And I guess we'll see what happens with the resort activities application. Still haven't heard back from them, even though I'm very desperate for a response, but uh, that's cool. Anyways, guys, I'm just gonna chill out today and do my last garbage night shift. <laughs> it is now five o'clock on the 1st of November. I have been in bed the majority of the day. I'm gonna go eat some dinner. I'll probably go back to bed, honestly. Um, yeah. So, I still haven't heard anything from my resort activities application. I would assume they would send me an email or something along those lines. I'm going to have to uh, do something myself, I think, at this point, because it is nearly the end of the day on the 1st of November, and I still don't know what the hell is going on. Am I going? Am I staying? Bruh. Um, I think resort activities would be a pretty cool job. Um, I know that they set up the Christmas decorations when that time comes, so that actually sounds kind of fun, setting that up around the hotel. I would like to stay. I think I would, but it's becoming less and less likely. I have had a look at Ski Lake Louise. There isn't even any positions at the ski hill. They're looking for chefs and snowboard instructors. And yes, I have my cert one in snowboard instructing, but do I really want to do that job again after the absolute nightmare that I went through in New Zealand? They were also looking for people with CERT 2. Uh, so CERT 1 snowboard instructor is very basic, like this is a snowboard and this is how you get on a snowboard and this is how you do some very basic things. So yeah, CERT 1 is practically uh, not a lot of positions. Uh, require cert one it's normally most of the jobs require cert two so that is unlikely in any case <sighs> well then whatever happens i think i'm prepared uh, i have another suitcase because i have bought truly so much stuff while i've been here and i had my magic cards shipped here so my secondary suitcase should fit everything i'm prepared for whatever happens and hopefully i'll know soon hmm and here we are, 9.40 on the 1st of November, the last cringe night shift I will ever do. I swear to God, if I am ever offered night shift again, uh, I am going to laugh in whoever's face it is that asks me. Laugh out loud and scream and cry and say no and have Vietnam flashbacks. Oh, these, uh, yeah. The night shift has been truly difficult, and the hardest part of this job. Uh, yes, I have had a pretty good month, I've been able to sleep and I've gotten used to it. I have contemplated just continuing on, but then I have 
there's there's no way dude there's no way i want to do this for another six months or any amount of time longer i can't imagine working here in the winter and not seeing the sun almost at all because it's getting to the point where the sun is not risen by the time we leave and usually by about you know 6 37 it's pretty dark so that would be absolutely miserable not seeing the sun I can't imagine working here in the winter. Anyways, uh, once again, my fate is unclear. I will make sure that I go to HR tomorrow and properly get an answer from resort activities before they kick me out of my accommodation, because obviously you can't just stay here when you don't have a job. There's a little bit of a leeway. Uh, they have told me they would be willing to wait about a week for my transfer and all that, but it's all up in the air. We'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I need to get inside. It's really freaking cold. I will see you all tomorrow. It is Thursday, the 2nd of November, my dudes. I would like nothing more than to have a normal job here in Louisa, working as a wait person or behind the bar or even a barista making coffees. But unfortunately, that is not the life I'm going to get here. Oh. I didn't know they had breakfast set up this early. Oh, looks good. Anyways, I am just the humble housekeeper doing the dusting at five o'clock in the morning. Ugh. Well, guys, still don't know what my fate is going to be. It's quite frustrating. I really hope I get an email or some sort of notification soon on what's going on. I'm, I'm thinking it's quite unlikely. And I'll probably just have to go home. But I will accept whatever happens. I think I'm ready. Whether to stay or go. I just want to find out soon. Anyways, I better focus on swithering. I'll see you all a little bit later. Bye. It is done. I'm finally done with these night shifts. Oh Lord, all of the all of the bad memories, all of the times I've been absolutely struggling and dying on my feet at five in the morning and just wanting to go to sleep, it's all rushing back to me. Oh God, I'm so glad I don't have to do that shit anymore. Oh, anyways, I cleared out my locker and all my stuff. And uh, yeah, oh, I can't tell you how much of an extraordinary relief it is that I don't have to do this job anymore. Ah. All right, well, I'm gonna go have a bit of a sleep and relax and calm down. And then we'll see what happens next to my resort activities position. Oh, I can't even... Oh, it's so good to not have to do that anymore. It is 2.50. I've had about four hours of sleep. That's what you gotta do to reset your sleep schedule. There is a health and wellness fair on today that I guess I'll go have a look at. Oh my god. We got a little bit of fresh snow, so I have to be a bit careful. Anyways, it is the 2nd of November and I am officially no longer employed by the Chateau. So, <laughs> I really hope the resort activities application gets back to me soon. Oh, I'm going to have to go probably go to HR and ask them about that while I'm at it as well. All right, let's go have a look at the fair. This is the lower lobby in the Mount Temple wing of the hotel. Fun fact, this is my least favorite place to be at four in the morning. Um, I don't know, something about this particular hallway creeps me out. And I had a bit of an experience in the ladies' washroom here. Just kind of felt like there was a presence or something there. Yeah, not very fun, but I don't have to deal with that anymore now, because I'm no longer on night shift, baby. Anyways, uh, the Mountain Temple Ballroom is up this way, and so is the fair. It is pretty freaking epic out here. It's snowing lightly. Dang, dude. 
crazy. Anyways, the health and wellness fair was fun. I visited the podiatry and the uh, foot people because my shoes are all falling apart. And these vessies, while nice and waterproof, are extremely not slip proof. And I also need some actual, like, good insoles because my foot is very flat. So that was the main reason I wanted to go to the health and wellness fair, talk to some podiatrist people, but there you go. Anyways, I'm gonna go have a look at some food and probably go back to bed. It is the 3rd of November, my dudes. We had some fresh snow last night and it is lovely out here. I have to be extraordinarily careful walking down those stairs. Uh, I'm taking my housekeeping uniform back to the uniform counter for the last time because I was too lazy to do it yesterday. Um, I absolutely need to sort out what is going on today. I need to know if I'm going to be going to resort activities or if I'm just going to be <sighs> heading out of here soon. So, but before I do any of that, I'm going to go to the ski hill. I don't care. I don't care. Um, fresh snow. It's perfect. Conditions must be great today. So I'm going to try and figure out how to go to the ski hill and maybe do some snowboarding. Woo!